The biggest challenge for management teams today is probably managing people in a virtual way. We have so many um, opportunities to communicate, um, but teams are now global, they're not in the same place, um, and actually making sure that you, you are really connecting with people and you can do that through um, technology is tricky and we have to make sure we've got enough face-to-face -face and human connection to make it real. CEOs can really use technology to tackle challenges like virtual working um, really positively, I think. I don't believe that work is a place anymore. I think it's where you are. Um, and so flexible working is something that we can all embrace especially in the technology industry where we're simply creating more jobs than we can fill. We need to be able to access a talent um, pool that is not necessarily in London or in the big cities, but also in rural locations or working parents, for example. And so, you know, when we can tap into those diverse teams, we get better results. I believe that leaders need technology skills which are much more empathetic. I think we've got a huge amount of digital skills. Um, clearly there is some of a, a generation gap, if you will, um, with some demographics where um, the keyboard has been missed and we rely on PAs, for example. Um, but now we've got technology like Alexa or IBM Watson where we can shout at a thing um, and we can say, you know, schedule my meeting or if you're at home, turn on Radio 4 or, or reorder my prescription. And I think that kind of technology is coming to save us all who have not quite caught up with the digital revolution. And I think that's exciting and gratifying. So competitive advantage for me comes from data. Um, I do believe that data is the new oil and I do believe that what we do with data is going to make the difference between creating competitive advantage and not. So what we do with it in a positive way is to use it to target our customers and to create outstanding consumer experiences. And that's really, really important. If we just collect data and do nothing with it, then shame on us. Technology is coming to us all, but specifically for the finance sector, we will see the rise of the robot. And I say that in a good way. So in times past, we thought of machines replacing farm animals, for example, but now we're seeing machines replacing people with university degrees. Is that a little bit scary? Absolutely. On the other hand, when you see what's possible between man and machine, and what we bring and what, what they bring. For example, you know, machine brings calculations, but, but you know, what the human brings is understanding. And when a you know, computer brings uh, instructions, we bring creativity. And I think that's the difference between machine and man, and we shouldn't fear it, we should embrace it. I'm most excited about AI, artificial intelligence, and bot technology, robotics. I really think we are going to see a huge amount of that coming into our industry. And we will see commonplace roles replaced by robotics. Amazon, for example, has got 40,000 robots in its warehouse. So, you know, try and compete with that. So ignore it at your peril. But I would say that robotics and AI is what um, the whole tech industry is buzzing about. And, and I, for one, am very excited about that. If you're starting out on a career in business, my big tip would be be clear about the problem that you're solving and be clear about the why your business is, has been created. So if you understand your why, then you will be able to solve that business problem big time. And then once you've figured that out, I would say ambition and scale 
is the big differentiator between us and the US. The US have no problem with big vision, big ambition, and we are slightly risk-oriented. And I would say, burst that and just go for it because that's the piece that will make you great.